Hello and welcome, I am Conan Librarian with Obsidian Portal, and today I want to talk to you about something very important. Chainsaw-driven, treetop navigating, post-apocalyptic, world adventuring, monster hunting, customizable ships. This is Wild Sea, and it kicks a lot of ass. Let's take a look. It started with a ripple, a shudder of earth and stone, a snap of unbound seedlings, the verdancy, a tide of rampant growth spilling across the world from the west. Trees grew like inverted lightning, shouldering their way free from the churning earth, their roots winding hungrily through cities and vineyards, splitting mountains and drinking seas. Mile-high trunks with iron-hard bark, a titanic canopy of leaves and petals and spores, thick with the howling of unknown creatures. In less than a day, the forest had eaten the world. The age of salt and spray was dead. Now, there was only the wild sea. The wild sea has this mechanic, these resources. Now a resource, like any other game, is something that can be useful, like chip fuel or trade goods, but the most exciting thing is a whisper. So a whisper isn't just a MacGuffin, a whisper isn't just a really powerful weapon. Whisper is a wild magic, a wild secret that can only exist in one person's mind at a time. When it's spoken or written, it leaves them. This thing lives in your head. This thing drives you, and it, it's this compulsion. A whisper is such a neat idea. It's such a neat MacGuffin. It's a way to drive you forward. It's a way to introduce something the idea that your firefly says okay you've earned this whisper he tells you what it is and to me as a firefly i wouldn't even tell the other players i would take you into a separate room and tell just you and you would have to convince these other players your crewmates we need to do this thing there's a thing here we have to find this we have to seek that the fact that a whisper isn't just a neat thing but again, a story driver, a narrative mechanic, highlights what Wild Sea does to, to make this something worth diving into and investing in the story as opposed to just making a cool character. The Wild Sea uses a dice pool, like a lot of other systems, but with a couple interesting mechanics. For one is the twist. You add up your pool of your edge, advantage, and skills, and you take the highest result of those die as the factor here. Well, if you roll doubles in this pool, it creates this twist. And in this case, the GM or the Firefly is encouraged to add something unique, potentially helpful, or otherwise story-driven to change the scenario, potentially help your players or wild sailors. In my case, I very much like the idea of two sixes, sixes being obviously the highest, would introduce a very helpful twist, a very positive twist, something that might help them get out of a situation, or uh, they might be able to barter later down the road, or help heal, whatever it might be. But if you double up on ones in my game, well, you roll a one in any of my games, it can be pretty harsh. So a twist of not just another monster dropping out of the sea, but an engine failing on your chainsaw ship, or rip rig, as I think I might end up calling mine, or... Uh, that good you thought you had ends up to be spoiled or booby trap. This twist mechanic is 100% about driving the story. It also even mentions right here in the rules that other players at the table can suggest. Ultimately, the Firefly has the final say, but again, what they really want here is story-driven player interaction, Firefly discussion. There's a lot of talk of discussion, and this twist is all about making sure that your story moves forward, not just the combat scenario or the adventure scenario or whatever scene you're in, but rather that whatever you're doing continues to have momentum. Whether good or bad for that player, that wild seafarer, it means that your story moves forward in an unexpected way. Another great mechanic here is the cut. This is where the Firefly will tell a player that in order to do something more difficult, like call a shot, have more impact, or otherwise navigate a more difficult situation, to make that action, they're going to have to drop their top die, or possibly more, depending on that situation. This, to me, very much still interacts with the twist mechanic as well. 
if you call a shot, you want to shoot a guy in the head, and I tell you, okay, great, but you're going to have to cut that. Well, you roll double sixes, you're twist, if you still got a six, you're probably going to hit the guy behind him too. But say you drop that top die with that cut, and you only get a four. Well, not only are you barely going to hit that guy, but say you double up on ones, well, your twist means that you're probably going to lose that weapon for the rest of the scenario, or something else that's not great. This cut is how you keep things moving. It's how the conversation doesn't stop, so you have to look up a mechanic. You don't have to go through a rule book. You don't have to ask, well, what does the description say? It's easy. It's accessible. It's how uh, Wild Sea makes sure that you stay engaged without having to go through something or argue something, because it's right there. You made the decision, Firefly made the call, and you made your roll. This system uses tracks to keep track of everything. So a track is a set of bubbles, dots, or squares that you fill in as you progress or try to clear an obstacle, or even keep track of an enemy's health or your own. So a track is pretty simple. It means an enemy may have a five mark track, and to clear that enemy, kill that enemy, you need to do enough attacks or damage or impact to fill that track and clear it. You may have a track laid down to improve your ship, so your engine, right? You want to make it faster, stronger, whatever it is. Well, say you're at a trading port and you manage to install some new parts. You as the Firefly, or maybe even you as the player, may go ahead and fill up one or two of the bubbles you have on your track for that. This is one of these ways where this system makes it easy to keep moving. You're not tracking exactly what a spell component has. You're not trying to see if you fill certain requirements, it is objective. And while some people might not be very comfortable with that, it means this is a customizable experience on everybody's end, not just the Firefly making the story, but the player having that conversation with other players at the table and with the Firefly themselves to keep things moving. I love the idea of having a track to improve my weapon, a track to uh, maybe woo a girl at a certain port or a track to discover this uh, arcane or otherwise lost ruin that me and my crew are searching for. To have these tracks, to fill them, to clear them, but it's easy, it's fun. To me, I love the idea of setting a custom track, setting that goal. It, it means you're driving towards something without having to, quote, fill prerequisites as much as achieve something. And then have that conversation to say, yes, I did achieve it. Or, you know what, why don't we go do this? Uh, it, it's neat. It, it's a new way to do this thing. It's a new way to adventure and explore and to progress without having to worry about a cab or another experience point. The Wild Sea system and setting is all about customization. The tracks, the dice pool, the classes, the characters, the aspects, the advantages, the edges. This is all about customizing. When you go through this 70 plus page quick start guide, it has so many options and it's not even a full book. And the idea here is to make whatever you want. It's to customize it all. I told my wife about this project and she said, that's awesome. I want to play that game. I want to watch that movie. I want to experience that. And that's the thing. This is all that post APOC you want to see. It's Kevin Costner in Waterworld. Uh, it's Kevin Costner in Postman. Maybe not a great example. It, it's it, it's wild adventure out in the unknown. It's scary monsters lurking in the deep. It's everything I want to have to be able to go out and explore and create whatever I want. All of these guides, um, all they do is give tools and they give you a point by system. They give you a, a track system. They give you something to make this your own and they give you this playground to be in that's dark it's gritty it's scary but it's beautiful it's new it's neat it's a very unique setting that i haven't seen i think in uh, almost any other rpg out there i mean i there are tree top settings but nothing that really dives into this kind of world this post-apocalyptic unknown both deep sea but also skyfaring adventure this is all about you creating your own experience, your own type of character, your own goals, your own ship, uh, which again, I can't say enough about the system they've set up for these ships and the possibilities that you have for these ships. Chainsaw-driven 
ships navigating treetops. I know I already said that at the top, but my point is chainsaw-driven ships. Play this game, make this game. Go on their Discord. That's the other great thing. This community is already there, and they're already making such cool stuff. They're already making custom aspects. They already have characters built. Find them on their Discord. Uh, I've been chatting with some of them. I've been looking through some of this, and the creativity in this community and the creativity from the creators themselves who are active in this community all just make it so juicy. It's, uh, you know, uh, like I said, my wife wanted to watch this movie. I want to watch this movie. I want to make this movie. I want to be part of this uh, because it's just so fun. It's post-apocalyptic. It's monster hunting. It's seafaring. It's dark unknown. And it's ancient world discovering. Get out there on the wild sea in your own ship. Uh, get your crew. Get your goods. Set your goals. Customize this experience. And we'll see you on the wild sea. Your characters are wild sailors, part of a crew brave enough to venture across the rustling waves of the world forest on a ship of your own design. You might be hunters, traders or guns for hire, salvagers of ancient wrecks or explorers heading for the horizon. Your characters will develop and grow as they learn more about themselves, each other and the wild world that they inhabit. Hey everyone, don't forget hop online to obsidianportal.com for all your campaign management needs. More features than a bag of tricks, more depth than a bag of holding, City and Portal has everything you need to make that campaign just as great for everyone else to see as it is in your head and at your table at home.